it's time to pick straws. Hey, hey guys, Christina with the Purple Alphabet. Today we are working with measurement and straws. I have a ruler, a set of straws, and scissors, and I went ahead and cut one set of straws in one inch increments. So I have one that's seven inch, and I went ahead and cut down all the way down to one inch. Now you can have more than one set if you wish. I just have one set just for demonstration. Next, we're gonna take a piece of paper and just measure out lines. So I'm gonna start off with one inch here. I'm gonna go up to two inches. And my straws are seven inches at the longest. All right, so now you have a little chart here. And for our beginner, for our little ones, this is just kind of a sorting exercise. So you would give them their set of straws and then they would match it up to the correct length. And once they've learned how to match up the correct length to the correct line, you can start talking about bigger and smaller than. You know, this straw is smaller than this straw, or this straw is bigger than this straw, and have some really good conversations of understanding big and small. Of course, my straws are rolling right off the paper here. All right, so you have a matching and conversation starter for big and small or shorter and longer, depending on which terms you wanna use. So once you've mastered this skill and need something a little bit more for the older child, then you can start introducing numbers. So I'm gonna use my baking sheet here because I have some magnetic numbers. You don't need magnetic numbers. Um, you can just use regular numbers or numbers on a, on a note card or whatever. Right, I'm kind of upset because I'm missing the number three here, but I'll have to go and look for that number three. But right now I have my seven numbers here. And what your child can do to measure is take a ruler and they're gonna learn about increments, measure each straw, this one's six inches, and sort them this way. And three, so it's beginning, I don't have my three. <laughs> Sorry, number three, you're missing. So it's beginning measurement and learning how to use the ruler to measure the straws. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. Click subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Be sure to give me a thumbs up to show your love and I'll see you next time. And then you have a matching card. So now what the child has to do is take the pegs out.